Welcome to Sport Life Channel, your home of football news. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, turn on your notifications so that at any time we upload new videos, you will be the first to be notified. Thanks. Manchester United player ratings versus Burnley as Evans and Fernandez good. Samuel Luckhurst. Manchester United got back to winning ways with a 1-0 win over Vincent Company's Burnley in the Premier League fixture at Turf Moor. A fabulous first-half goal from United captain Bruno Fernandes, assisted by 35-year-old defender Johnny Evans, secured the three points for manager Eric Ten Hag. It wasn't pretty, but it was a vital win which ended their recent dismal run and saw them rise to eighth in the Premier League table. The clean sheet was the first since the win over Wolves on the first weekend of the season. Player ratings. Andre Onana. Made a decent stop from Zeki Amduni at 0-0 on a more serene night than in Munich in midweek. Onana was much more dependable. 7. Diogo Delot. Had another poor first half and was rightly booked for a dreadfully late tackle. Steadier in the second and crossed invitingly for Rasmus Hodgland. 7. Victor Lindelof. Flapped during Burnley's dominant period when they hit the post and Johnny Evans was the centre-half who stepped up. Better in the second half. Adjusted to left-back commendably. 7. Johnny Evans. A contentious selection on his first United start since March 2015 but he had a disallowed goal and brilliantly found Fernandez for the first goal. Managed the game well. 7. Sergio Reguilon. Delivered one of United's best corners in recent memory that Evans headed in. Alas it was offside. Maintained his reasonable performance level. Came off injured. 7. Casemiro. An improvement on recent performances and his tackling stirred the United followers. Had his work cut out with Scott McTominay struggling. 7. Scott McTominay. A questionable selection and was often all at sea as United's midfield issues continued. His discipline in the final half an hour ensured he stayed on. 5. Hannibal Medjbri. Provided an intense presence to counter Burnley's build-ups but his use of the ball could have been better on his first United start. 6. Bruno Fernandes. Did little until his stunning volley put United ahead on the stroke of half-time. Another occasion where he had an impact despite playing out of position. 7. Marcus Rashford. Erratic again and his decision-making was seldom sound. Switched to the right early in the second half but had little joy. 4. Rasmus Hodgland. Did okay in the first half but beat the turf when he failed to connect with Delot's cross minutes after the restart. Played some errant passes. 5. Subs. Raphael Varane. Got some minutes on his return. 6. Sofian Amrabat. Gave away a foul in a dangerous area. 5. Manager. Selected an unpredictable team but Evans' footballing class paid dividends. Resisted a change until it was enforced by Regillon's injury. Eric Ten Hag explains what Johnny Evans gave Manchester United in Burnley win. Eric Ten Hag was pleased Manchester United prevailed in a, must win, game at Burnley. United secured a first win in four through Bruno Fernandes' fabulous volley in the 45th minute to end a three-match losing run. This was a must win and we knew that, Ten Hag acknowledged. The team responded on the pitch. You could see the togetherness in the dressing room. It was a squad performance. Great goal, it was massive how we played that attacked over the right, bring the ball back and then a brilliant pass, brilliant movement and a brilliant finish. We know that at United, you have to win every game even if you play Bayern Munich you have to win and if not the criticism is there. As a player at Man United, you have to recognize that you are here to win football games. We had tough opponents but we didn't get the results, and then you go into this game and it's a must win. Fernandez was assisted by Johnny Evans on his first start for United since March 2015. The 35 year old lined up in the absence of the injured Lisandro Martinez while Rafael Varane was not deemed fit enough to return to the starting 11. 
Evans completed 89 minutes as United recorded only their second clean sheet of the season, having resigned the Ulsterman on transfer deadline day. United sold Evans to West Bromwich Albion in 2015 and he was released by relegated Leicester City in the summer. Evans initially trained with the United under-23s while he considered his options but Ten Hag instructed technical director Darren Fletcher to bring Evans into the first-team fold. Evans agreed a short-term contract and was involved in the pre-season tour prior to officially re-signing for his boyhood club. We have problems and in this moment a lot is against us. Injuries, decisions, and I think we have all seen the examples, Ten Hag explained. We are very happy you have a player like Johnny Evans in the squad. He comes in, he is calm, he is composed, he has a good skill set and if and when you have things against you you can bounce back and you have to have character in the team to do that. We have seen his influence in the training. When he was in the summer, it was to train with the under-23s. I said to Fletch, come and bring him to the first team, maybe he can help us. I already saw in pre-season, the problems in the numbers in the squad. We decided to sign him because I think he can really contribute to the squad and today you see how important how he can be. We appreciate you for watching our video and thank you so much for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, to subscribe and to turn on your notifications so that at any time we upload new videos you will be notified. Thank you.